Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. Um, this is going to be a quick little Michaels haul. Um, I stopped at Michaels a few days ago and I just forgot to film earlier in the week. Um, but I went to the McDonald's the Michaels that is closest to my house. It's not like the greatest Michaels. Um, it used to be a pack of tans, if you guys know what that is. It's just, it was like a local smaller craft chain here in like Pennsylvania. I think they might have had some in New York too, but I'm not sure. Um, but Michaels bought pack of tans out um, a few years ago and they converted this store into a Michaels. And it's just not like it's maybe about half the size of a, a regular Michaels. Um, but I did find a few things and they do seem to be getting their Halloween stuff earlier this year. Last year I was waiting and waiting and waiting and they just never got anything um, until last minute kind of thing. But anyways, I picked up a few things. Um, so I wanted to show you. I'm going to do Halloween first. Um, I picked up these little, they're called stickers, but essentially they're like ephemera pieces. You don't have to use them as stickers. Um, so I loved them because of the black hat and the little crow, the skeleton, the little ghost. Um, so yeah, they're really cute. And I did have a 20% off coupon and a voucher to use. So I did use those. So yeah, those are cute. Um, I also got these. These are more of like almost like a creepy vibe type of thing like brain juice switching our tonic elixir spider venom black cat curse things like that so yeah i liked those as well and then i also picked up these ones which are very like vintagey looking which i think will be cool with the new simple stories vintage collection that's coming out this year um so i liked those and these also would go well with like a tim holtz vibe so I got those three packs of those, they're stickers, but honestly you could use them as ephemera. Um, I got these really cute little um, stickers with the ghosts and the bats and the jack-o'-lanterns. I don't remember these last year or maybe my stores just never got them or they got them and I just didn't keep going back and back and back. Um, I found some really cute little like cupcake toppers that you can totally use on projects. I love these little ghosties. The little boy ghost is holding a candy corn banner and then the little girl ghost. And those have like a little like iridescent glitter. Let me open them up so you can see without the glare of the bag. So there is the little boy and the little girl. And see how she's got like a little, um, like a glittery type of iridescence to her super cute and you can take the you can put these into um, a loaded pocket or something like that and um, same with him he's got like that glittery effect um, so those are so cute or you can take them off of the um, toothpicks and use them as embellishments got those ones thought they were so adorable i also got these little jack-o-lantern ones I'm not going to take those out. They're just foiled pumpkins, essentially. I also got these really cute little treat bags with um, the haunted house with the ghost and the black cat and the jack-o'-lanterns. And, and then they come with little black um, clothespins and little orange pumpkins to kind of like attach to the front. So I got those. Um, I also got these really cute little eyeball stickers and I like these better than like the normal like um, googly eyes because they have like a yellowy tint to them so they almost look a little bit creepier instead of like that bold white background I thought those were really cool and they do jiggle around just like normal uh, googly eyes and I got one more thing with um like back like cupcake toppers and this is a cupcake kit so essentially um if I decide to make cupcakes, I can decorate them, but I probably won't do that. I'll probably just use these for crafting. And um, so it's got the little cupcake liners with the... Um, okay, so this is one pick, which, which has got a holographic moon with the stars and bats. And I thought those were so pretty. And then I love the pink tombstones with the holographic. Again, you can use this as an embellishment with um, taking the pick off or you can um, 
add it to a like a loaded up bag or something and then they we have these little headstone um cupcake um liners and then these little purple ones with a spider web so that came in the little kit super cute and let me see if i can just take this cardboard thing out of here so i can close this back up without needing that in there so yeah cute little kits okay and that is i believe all my halloween let me make sure yes okay so the other things i got are um this is just i thought these really i thought these cat charms were really cute and i'm pretty sure i picked these up before but i wanted another pack the little cats are so adorable um i picked up some really pretty new jemmies in this like purpley blue color the camera's not going to show them very well because of the glare but they're really pretty all right they also did have some um <clears throat> some of their trims on sale this was marked this one was marked down on clearance i love this for halloween it's like black with this really cool um like holographic like polka dots on it super cool and i think it was marked down to like two dollars um they had a bunch of trims on clearance and i think they were probably marking more down so i got that one and then I also found this beautiful lace. Um, I thought this would be cool if I do like a vintage -y, Well, I'm going to be using that vintage um Halloween, uh, the Halloween collection from Simple Stories. But I just thought this lace was absolutely beautiful. It has that like antique look to it. It's like a, an ivory color. It's really pretty. And then I got this one to make ruffles with. Um, it is... It is wired, but you can take the wire out. It's not that hard, but I just like the pattern a lot. I thought that was really cool, and I thought this would be good for Halloween, probably even for Christmas, um, anything, really. I thought it was really cool. It's a almost like feels almost like a, a, a knitted material, like a sweater, but yeah, you can p easily pull the wire out and do ruffles, and you get a ton of it on this. It's really cool. All right, and the last thing I bought were some Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Um, I want to try my hand at doing a little bit of like mixed media and like inking some projects. And I did have some of these like a few years ago, but I think they've gotten like old and like dried out. So I picked up the pack of like the neutrals with the um, antique linen vintage photo walnut stain and black soot. So I got that one. These were on sale. I think it was like buy one, get one half off. And then I got this one with wilted violet carved pumpkin lucky clover and candied apple and i thought these two would be good for halloween along with the black of course these two would be good for christmas and then i also got a couple of the larger distress inks in the distress oxide i got this twisted citron green for halloween and then i also got this pink kitsch flamingo this just to have on hand because i use pink so much in my crafting and i do have a lot of these colors in with the Dispress Oxide Sprays, which I have some of them sitting here on my desk. So I will be using these as well um, to make some splatters. And then I also picked up some of the mini ink blending tools along with some extra blending foams. And the last thing I got, which I also want to use for Halloween is this holographic dot tool in the black. Um, I'm 99% sure I never bought it in the black. I know I have it in pink and turquoise, but I don't think I ever bought it in black. And obviously I think holographic is absolutely beautiful. And I love the black with the holographic for Halloween. So I got this as well. So that is my quick Michaels haul. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.